Ed tech firm Coursera has a new offering to fill that gap. CEO Jeff Maggiancalda saying in a blog post today he's now offering a class called Navigating Generative AI, a CEO playbook. And he joins us now. Jeff, welcome. So uh, what does this course do? Are you screening to make sure that, that you see CEO name badges to take it or, or can anybody sign up? Anybody can sign up, John. I mean, it's, it's great to be here, first of all. And I'm excited to be launching this course today. You know, it's my first course. I, I've been a tech CEO for 25 years and I've never seen something like generative AI. Now it's not perfect and it's gonna have different impacts in different places, but almost every job role in almost every company is gonna be transformed by this. And CEOs, they've gotta figure out, like you said, uh, how do I take advantage of this to create value for my customers and innovate experiences, maybe to boost productivity and improve my margins. At the same time, there's a, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of risks, there's regulatory issues, there's ethical considerations, and so it's a complex environment to navigate, and so this course just attempts to help them do that. And I brought a lot of experts into the course to help teach it as well. Yeah, from Salesforce, uh, from, from government, from elsewhere. But you, your, your top Gen AI courses right now on Coursera have to do with engineering, how to build it, and just general knowledge what is it? This seems more strategic. What are the kinds of yeah. issues that CEOs need to understand? Because I understand you're, you're focusing in on how to assess competitive threats and opportunities, how to communicate using Gen AI. Yeah, you know, it's, it is a great point that you're making. Historically, and, and I think CEOs need to know this, historically, we focused a lot on how it works, how AI works. And there's a small team that have been the builders of AI. And frankly, we have uh, 800 courses that have to do with AI, but they've really been mostly for the builders. With generative AI, it's a little bit different. It's not so much how, it's, how it works, it's more how it's used. So the course talks a little bit about how it works, but it really focuses more on how it's used to unlock value, but also, like you said, adapt your business model and, and anticipate the changes in all the key elements of your business model so that you can take advantage of the opportunities and mitigate the threats. One of the things I'm most excited about is we're actually using generative AI in the course as a playground where every uh, business leader, it doesn't have to be just CEOs, basically anybody who sets strategy and, and, and is responsible for organizational change and has to navigate an organization can use a hands-on lab, it's a private secure environment, to actually use generative AI hmm. to set your generative AI strategy that's tailored to your business. Finally, tell me, what are you seeing in demand for, for ed tech, for what could Coursera actually makes? Because when the labor market is strong and it's still relatively strong, people tend to want to go to school less. And, and when uh, the, the labor market is weakening, or at least there's a little bit more slack in it than there was before, I wonder if companies are as eager to offer perks like training. Yeah, what you typically see, to your point, is when the labor market is really strong, with traditional residential college, there's an opportunity cost to getting out of the labor market to get your college degree. What we see though is when the labor market is strong and there's increasing demand for certain technical skills, if people can learn those technical skills online and not incur the cost of being out of the market to get those skills, like by doing it online, we've seen tremendous demand. In 2023, we saw someone taking an AI course every minute of 2023. And so I think that's one of the big promises of online education is you can skill up and move your career forward without having to leave the labor market.